All right, yay, we're here today. Um, it's a wonderful day because we're showing up on our mats and because we're choosing it to be. So thank you for showing up here with me. So let's go ahead and stand nice and tall. Just rock onto your toes, back onto your heels. Let's elongate your spine, wiggle your piggies. Shake your toes and then align your ankles, knees and hips. Have a neutral spine with a slight tilt to your pelvis. Draw the navel in, sternum up, shoulders down. Bring your hands prayer. And take in this opportunity for gratitude right now. Our practice is going to be cultivating positivity. And one of our magic little potions is gratitude. So let's just stand nice and tall in this space. And just think of three things we can be grateful for. And then go ahead and extend those arms down in anatomical positioning as our ankles, knees, and hips line up. Engaging that first root lock, that first mudra, internal mudra, that pelvic floor, lifting through the sphincters, drawing navel in, back towards the spine, and lifting up towards the sternum as we relax the shoulders down, drawing the chin in, crown up. And take a big inhale through your nose, big exhale through your mouth. And just give appreciation for the birds chirping and playing, for nature all around, for the sun, the stars, the moon, the earth, for humanity, for one another, your loved ones. Give appreciation for it all. And then bring your hands back to heart center. In this space of appreciation and gratitude, Appreciating ourselves, being thankful for ourselves in this space right here. Even if we have things, circumstances going on around us, to us, through us, anything that's going on internally, to still find that space of appreciation for who you truly are. And our mudra that we're going to do is the seal of life today through our practice. And it is going to take the thumb and your ring finger and you're going to tap the tips together. The other fingers stay extended. So just the thumb and the ring finger tap together, bending together. Oh, those birds are very playful. And just pull your elbows in. Now we're going to hold here for just a moment, connecting to our breath. So just taking a moment to breathe in through our nose and out through our nose in a rhythmic pattern. Inhale for a four count, exhale for a four count. In through our nose and out through our nose. And then inhale for six and exhale for six. And if you wanna to try to inhale for eight and exhale for eight, best for you. And in this space of connecting with our pranayana life force, connecting within through the mudra that connects the mind body through this hand gesture, we cultivate through our practice an alpha wave brain pattern. And in this we stimulate through the hypothalamus and the thalamus. And in this state it awakens things within us. We come into a more meditative state. And in this space, we hold memory. So through our practice, we have the opportunity to rewrite the narrative of those memories, creating positivity in our mind, throughout the cells and structures of our body, through our brain, and into our life. So as we hold in this seal of life mudra, it's life-giving. It increases our immunity, it increases our energy levels, it stimulates the positivity within us. It's just claiming that in this moment with a grateful heart.
And then keeping the breath, bringing hands to heart center. We'll go ahead and begin our practice as we are intentional through our flow. To be open to what our practice has to offer us, let's go ahead and lift our arms all the way up to the heavens. And then taking our heart towards the toes, exhale down. Shake your head, lift your heels, find some movement. Keeping that breath deep and rhythmic. Heel till your feet to the edges. Bend in your right knee, right hand down, left arm's gonna swoop up. Left leg straightens. And then release it, left hand comes down, left knee bends, right leg straightens, right arm up. And then bring it center. Shake your head, bend in those knees, move side to side. And then again to the right side, right hand down, swoop that left arm up. If you want to take this hand from the sky, wrap it around your back and grab that thigh. You can, just pulling that chest open a little more to the sky. And then release it, hand down, lunge into that, or squat into that left leg, lengthen in that right leg, reach that right arm up, wrap it around if you can. Place your hand around that thigh if you can, or just around your back. Shoulder stack, gaze up, opening up through that heart towards the sky, the ceiling, wherever you are. And then bring it back center. Heel toe your feet back together and lift up halfway. Drawing navel in, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold. Step it back to our first downward facing dog. Fingertips starburst wide, grip with your fingers, suction cup the center portion of your hands, the knife that your hand kisses the floor. Then you're gonna lengthen those arms, ears and elbows side by side, tailbone to the sky, lifting those heels, squat into those thighs. So that tailbone lifts up, spine lengthens, and you begin to slowly straighten those legs, pressing heels towards the mat. And then pedal it out, shake your head. And then hold it center. And then heel to those feet to the edges of your mat. Take your right hand to your left ankle, rotate through, gaze up through your left armpit. And then release it and switch the left hand to right ankle, gaze up through the right armpit. And then release it, center, hands are down, nice and long arms, bring those feet back together. And then roll it out, plank pose. Press and round into your upper back. That gaze goes over the knife edge of your mat, keeping your neck aligned with your spine so you're not hanging your head down and you're not lifting your head way up. Just keep it neutral until alignment. Don't sway in your back, don't drop your hips, lift. Press those heels back if you need a long spine on your knees to modify, you can. Shoulders and wrists line up as you press in and away, rounding in that upper back, tucking the pelvis under, zipping through those thighs, shifting that weight a little further forward. Hold and breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. And then shift all the way down into your cobra. So glue, to glue those big toes together, drop those toes all the way down and glue them to the mat. Zip through your thighs, shoulder blades down and back. Lift the chest. Cover your hands. And then release it down and lift it up. Lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it. And then a way to reach your hands back and move side to side. That lateral move as you reach down and back, side to side, keeping chest elevated, moving and grooving, warming up the body, and four more, three more, two more, and your last one, center, hold it, lift it up. Reach those arms up and press them up. Press them up, press them up. Smile, keep those toes on the mat, Zip through those thighs, lift it through that heart center. And you got eight, you got seven, 
you got six, you got five, and four, and three, and two, last one, let's hold it, breathe, and four, and three, and two, last one, release it down, and lift it up, release it down, lift it up, release it down, and lift, release down, and lift, down, and lift, down, lift it up, four more, three more, two more, and our last one, lift it up, hold it, really reach, and then press those palms together behind you, press, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, lift, press, hold it, press those hands together, really press, lift a little higher, press, and then release, lift it up, press, clasp those hands, chest expand, lift the legs. Lift the legs, lift the legs, hold it, and then release it down. Hands come in front, draw your forehead down onto your hands, and lift your thighs. And lift, 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 lift. Pressing hips into your mat, lifting thighs up the best you can. It's not about bending in your knees and lifting and bending, it's about lifting the whole thigh up off your mat, engaging your powerhouse, your back, your hips, your core, and your glutes to stabilize the motion, and you use your breath and lift, and lift, lift, and lift for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, last one, lift it up, hold it, now be those heels together. Lift and hold and beat the heels together, 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 together. Pulse in, pulse out, together, apart. Keep the thighs lifted. Keep them elevated for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two. Together, hold. Lift the chest, reach your arms back, clasp those hands together. Lift, hold, 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 hold. And then release it down, hands come down, press upward, facing dog. Shimmy in those shoulders. Move side to side, pop off your knees if you can. Those knees are always there as your friend. And then hold it center, deepen in. Feel the delight right here in this bend. Whew. So you're dropping the swaying in the back, really pressing in. So shrugging your shoulders, so no sitting down like this in your shoulders, really press away. Smiles on our faces, joy in our hearts, feeling alive today. And then lifting our hips downward, facing dog. Shake your head, pedal your heels. And then lifting those heels, gaze between your hands, squat into your thighs, little pulses little pulses, and you got four, you got three, you got two, and your last one, squat nice and deep and take a big step or hop to the top. Big inhale, lift, find your chair. Hold into your chair. Sit deep into your chair. Doing good in there? Yeah. Good job. All right, ankles, knees, and hips are in alignment. Make sure when you're here, your booty goes back, not your knees forward, so we're not putting this motion we're pushing this motion. Push it back, push it back, push it way back. All right, little pulses, hands to heart. Find that seal of life mudra, activating the positivity within our mind, body, and spirit. Ring finger to thumb, tips meet, other fingers extend, and little pulses. An inch down, an inch up, and then reach those arms and reach and pull. My bracelets sound like little <laughs> shakers or something. <laughs> I got the birds chirping, I got my bracelets going. <laughs> I got the own music. <laughs> Squeeze into your back. Sit into those thighs, lift into those toes. Join navel in, you got eight, you got seven, you got six, you got five, and four, 
and three and two and your last one sit deep hold it hold 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 breathe in breathe out closing our eyes engaging that awareness so our bodies in motion as we're moving and we're grooving just find the stillness within even in the craziness of life a positive mindset and that positivity of energy comes with calmness and stillness within us. It's that unwavering faithfulness with the heart of gratitude of seeing the good in things, the bright side, the silver lining. Just hold in this space, maybe drop another inch, going that pelvis under, sitting deep, engaging scapulatory depression, so when the back is active, arms are active, torso is active, thighs, legs, hamstrings, all of it. Total body's activated right here in this posture, being encouraged in that positivity, feeling strong, feeling balanced, feeling healthy and whole. And then go ahead and reach your arms all the way up, lengthen. And you're gonna take your left hand to your right wrist, lengthen over your side body, gaze up through that right armpit push that hip out and then bring a center other side take your hand to that wrist press it up gaze is up and then bring a center make fist to smaller back heel toe your feet apart have a bend in your knees press your hips forward round into your back gaze up And then bring it back center. Heel toe those feet together. Lift onto your toes, back onto your heels. Wiggle those piggies, bring your hands to heart center. Take a big inhale, lift arms all the way up. Exhale, fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back. Downward, thank you dog. Bring it out to plank, shoulders and wrists line up. Shift your weight forward. Chaturanga, hover, hold. Check in, make sure your tummy and your chest are not on the floor. You're fully extended or with long knees, shoulders and elbows line up, and then press upward, facing dog. And then push up, downward, facing dog. Remember that push up back is always just an option, just to give that little extra something something to your practice. Then lift in your heels, gaze between your hands, squat into your thighs, take a big step or hop to the top, take a big inhale, lift, find your chair, lift tall, find your fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward facing dog. Bring it out to plank, shift that way forward, elbows tuck in, chaturanga, hover, hold, tuck in, and flip upward facing dog. Push up, downward facing dog. Take a breath. Lift your heels, gaze between your hands, squat into your thighs, take a big step or hop to the top. Lift tall, find your chair. Lift tall, find your fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward, facing dog. Roll it out to plank, shift your weight forward, elbows tuck in, chaturanga, hover, roll upward, facing dog. And then push up, downward, facing dog. Lift those heels, squat in your thighs, take a big step or hop to the top, big inhale, lift, find your chair, hold right here in your chair. A little deeper in your chair, a little deeper in your chair, and hold and hold and pulse and pulse. Reach those arms in front of you and then tabletop your back, straighten those legs. Lengthen, hold, bind back into your chair, hands to heart. And then reach out, lengthen, hold it, and then bring it back. Sit nice and deep. Breathe in, breathe out, then reach, reach, reach. Hands come down, forward, fold, squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward, dog. Roll it out to plank, elbows tuck in, chaturanga, upward, facing dog. Push up, downward, facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Take the right leg, kick it up, stack your hip. Let that foot just dangle there as that knee lifts. And make big circles, one direction. Other direction. 
Big circles, big circles. Then your last one, open that hip socket and then bring that leg through Anjani Asana. Press your hips forward, elongate, press it in, deepen down, hold and breathe. And then kickstand that back leg back, nice and deep, hold it. Walk that foot to the edge of your mat, hands are centered, press it in, hold and breathe. And then you're gonna take that leg, drop back to your back knee and then kick it out side plank, hold it kneeling. Reach that arm high to the sky, flex and set foot, pulse it up and down. Pulse, 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 pulse. You got eight, you got seven, you got six, you got five, you got four, you got three, you got two, and your last one, lengthen, hold it, really reach, reach that arm overhead, hold it, point your toe, make little circles, shoulder and wrist line up, circle, 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 circle around, hip and knee line up, make those circles, you got eight more, you got seven more, you got six, you got five, you got four, you got three, you got two, last one, hold it, and then bring that knee and elbow to knee, and reach it over, pull it into knee, reach it over, pull it into knee, and reach, pull it up to me, pull it up to me, pull it up, you got eight, you got seven, you got six, you got five, you got four, you got three, you got two, Last one, lengthen it, reach it, hold it, then drop it down. Kick that leg behind you, both forearms come down. Leg comes up higher, then pull that knee in, chin, chest in, kick it up, pull it 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 in, and kick, pull it in, and kick, pull it in, kick it up, pull it in, kick it up, pull it in, and kick, pull it in, and kick, pull it in, Kick it up, pull it in. Four more, three more, two more. And your last one, kick it up, hold it. Hold it, hold it, now cross the other leg, lift it, then bring it out to the other side. Cross, lift, cross, and cross, and tap to the side, cross it, and lift it, and cross it, and lift. Crisscross, step all the way from one side of the mat to the other. Just cross it, and cross it, and cross, and cross. For eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, and your last one, lift it up. And then pull that knee towards your shoulder and press away. Pull it in, press away, pull it in, press away, pull it in. Press away, pull it up, press it back. Pull it up, press it back, pull it up, press it back. You got eight more, you got seven more, you got six, you got five, you got four, you got three, you got two. Last one, press it back. Kickstand both of your legs back, find plank pose. Press into those forearms, press in, zip through your thighs. If you need to find your knees with a long spine, you can tuck the pelvis under, make sure the shoulders and elbows are in alignment. And then shift your weight a little further forward. Again, don't dip your hips down. Elevate, press in and round the upper back. Zip it, squeeze it, breathe through it. Hang in there. And you're gonna shift your weight forward, drop all the way down. Pull those arms back and find your Sphinx pose. Press it in, press it in. Shoulder blades down and back. Hold, breathe, hang in there and then release it all the way down, press in those hands and press back downward, facing dog. Left leg kick, stack your hip, bend in that knee, big circles, big circles. In another direction. And your last one, open it up, hold it, Lift that knee a little higher, then bring that leg through. Anjaniyasa, press it, deepen in, hold it, 
Deep and down. Breathe in and out. Then kickstand that back leg. Then walk that foot to the side, place that hand on the inside. Nice and deep right here. You can still stay on that back knee. And then drop that knee down if you're not there. And then kick that top left leg back. Reach that arm high to the sky. Lengthen side plank and make little circles. Little circles. Then point the toe, make circles the other direction. Keeping hip stack, shoulder stack, circle, circle, circle. You got eight. You got seven. You got six. You got five. In four, three, two. Tap it down and lift, 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 lift. lift. Gaze up. In eight more. In seven. In six. In five. In four. And three, and two, and your last one. Lift it up, hold it, then pull, reach that arm all the way overhead, lengthen, then pull knee and elbow beat. And reach and pull, reach and pull, bring it into the center, lengthen over, reach and pull. Breathe in, breathe out. Hang in there, all the way over, all the way back. Breathe. You got eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and your last one. Bring it up, reach it, lengthen it, then drop down to your forearms. Center your hips, forearms down, pull that knee in, kick it back. Pull it in and kick, pull it in and kick, pull it in and kick. Forearms down, kick it high, lift it up, bring it up behind you, tuck in and kick and move and groove you want to feel that zen on top of that encouraging energy that's moving dazzling the body the mind and the spirit with those feel good serotonins and dopamines all those endorphins that flow that create those happy good vibes within us it's moving our physical essence that helps release that our yoga has a meditative stance. Lift up, hold it, tap side to side. As we move on our mats and we are mindful through our flow and linking breath with movement, the energetic connection within stimulates that alpha brain wave, releasing things that no longer serve us as we let go of memory patterns and creating new neurological pathways in the brain. Lift tap, lift tap, lift tap. Through our practice. We have four more, three more, two more, and your last one. Bring it center, lift it. Woo! Come all the way out into plank pose. Press it out. Hold in that plank. Hold, hold, hold. We press in round. So, saying through our practice, we engage through asanas, which are our postures. We engage through our pranayama, which is our breath work. We engage through mudras, which are our hand gestures. We engage through energetic movement as we move multi-directionally around our mat. Breathe in, breathe out. We engage through meditativeness, through our mind. Drawing ourselves into the present moment. We're able to engage through those mental and emotional aspects of our being. Having a truthful awareness within our process and reasoning. Finding calmness and tranquility within. As the body shakes and trembles, hang in there. And then come all the way down, find your sphinx pose, pull those arms back, shoulder blades round. And then roll the pelvis under, tuck it under, tuck it under, tuck it under. And then lift, hold the thighs up off your mat. Hold, 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 tuck it under, hold. Hold, 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 lift, and then release all the way down. Push up, downward facing dog. Hold and breathe right here. Shake your head, pedal your heels. Taking all that feel goodness from everything we've done so far and just letting it imprint within. Feeling that positivity radiating throughout every part of our molecular structure. 
Walk your hands to the back. Heel to the feet to the edges of your mat. Squat deep and then move it, move it, move it. Pop that booty up and down. Fingertips to the mat the best you can. If you can't have your fingertips down, you can always place your hands onto your thighs and move and groove. Pop it down, pop it down. You got eight. You got seven. You got six. You got five. You got four. You got three. You got two. And your last one, sit deep. Hold, lift your chest, hands, prayer. And then pulse in and out. Pulse in and out. Deepen, deepen. And again, make sure you're not pivoting your knees forward. You're pushing your booty back and you're nice and deep. Again, engaging in the mudra, the seal of life. Life giving force energy and that positivity centered through gratitude and appreciation. Bring finger, thumb, finger, come together, reach and pull it out. Squeeze it in, squeeze it in, reach and pull, reach and pull. Sit deep. Breathing in, breathing out. Here on our mat, we're taking that massive action to obtain that current of frequency. That current that gives us life. And that life, it's that energy within us, that pranayama life force. And that force resonates throughout every cell of our being, throughout all of the universe and within us. So a little deeper, it's life giving, the life giver. It is grace and mercy. It is faith. Squeeze in, squeeze in, squeeze in. Breathe in, breathe out. In this space, we feel dazzled in that delight. We're beaming with joyfulness. Remember, the mantras that we tell ourselves, they're little songs, so to speak, that we play through our head. What is it that you play through your head? It's that self-language. Those positive affirmations are key. You got eight more. So how are you talking to yourself? Check in. Clear the pathways for new, encouraging, uplifting. Words of affirmations, encouragement, love, and insight, the inspiration, that motivation. Give me eight more. Keep moving, keep squeezing, staying active in seven, in six, in five. In four, in three, in two, sit deep, hold, hold, hold. You're now nice and deep, nice and deep, nice and deep. You're gonna take your hands down. In the beginning, we bend into that right leg, bend in that right leg, right hand down. Swoop it up, left leg is straight. Wrap it around, touch that hand to that thigh. And you're gonna begin to lift and lift. That left leg lifts and lifts. If you can place that hand up, place it up and lift. Now just lift it up and hold it, hold it. Just work on balancing. Work on balancing, lifting out to the side. Then begin to slowly kick that leg back behind you. Now you're balancing. Move and hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Reach that arm up if you choose or keep it wrapped around your back. If you fall over, fantastic, perfect. That means you tried it. You can lighten onto those fingertips. You want to reach that arm up and off. Your hands wrapped around the back. You can wrap it around to that front shoulder. Staying stacked, staying bound. And then slowly bring those hands down. Keep that left leg up. Three-legged plank. Lift that leg high to the sky. Then pull it in to your heart center. Kick it up. Pull it in to your heart center. Kick it up. Pull it in to your heart center. Kick it up now three times out wide to your shoulder or your elbow. And kick it up. If you need your right knee, you can always modify coming onto that knee, kneeling, and pulling that knee in, and kick it up. Bring it in, kick it up, bring it in, kick it up. Well, that made me forget. Come down onto that knee right here on this side. Forearm down, and pull that knee in, press away. See, I knew I remembered. <laughs> you gotta always remember, pull it into the side. Doing that motion made me forget I did this motion. You gotta own it. That's the beauty in life. No critical thinking, just owning our stuff. 
being okay with it, pushing through it, taking that responsibility, no victimhood mentality. We are doing our best in life. It's our own individual sparks here. Being you, being me, being us. And four, and three, and two. Last one, kick it right back. Place those hands down. Kick that leg back up. And then you're gonna crisscross, opposite elbow, drop it down. Then kick it up three times. Crisscross, opposite elbow, dropping that hip. Kick it up. One more time. Crisscross, kick it up. And then bring it out. Chaturanga, upward, facing dog. Push up, downward, facing dog. Lift your heels, squat into your thighs, gaze between your hands, take a big step or hop. Big inhale, lift, find your chair. Lift, find your fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward dog. Roll it out to plank, chaturanga, upward, facing dog. Push up, downward, facing dog. Walk it back. Widen those feet. Sit deep, little pulses. Again, hands can be on your thighs. We're coming right back where we were. So we pulse nice and deep, lift the chest. Hands prayer. Engaging that scapulatory depression into our back. You're just gonna sit and hold it this time. And then reach up tall. Sit deep and lift tall. And lift, and lift. Sit deep, lift tall. Being in that flow, feeling that current of energy moving through us. That life force vitality. Notice your breath can change. So you breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth as that heart rate picks up. Listen to your body. My practice is not intended to be easy. It's intended to push you into a metamorphosis of change, transformation, igniting that fire within, awakening the body, the mind, and the spirit for enlightenment. And in this space, we waken up to letting go of all the BS we can hold on to. Guilt, worry, blame, and shame. That fear and anxiety it has no power over us. As we push through, we overcome knowing that ultimately what we control is our internal dialogue, our internal world. We're choosing a positive outlook on life. Seeing the brighter side, seeing the good, the blessings, even through adversity. As hard as it can be, I know, it's not easy. It's a choice for your own mental well-being, your own spiritual journey, your own health and your emotional body, as well as your physical body. And then sit deep and hold it, because when we hold on to things, we harbor bitterness or anger, fear, all those lower vibrational frequencies of thought and emotions and feelings, it stores in our body. Those memories store in and begin to cause what we know is disease. So we have the power to heal. Let's arms up nice and tall. Come right back down. Hands come down. And then shift to the left leg, left hand down. Right hand comes up. So stay in your power. And right here, as you're lunging in that left leg, pressing into that right hand, just begin to lift the right leg up. And then lift it up. And then lift it up. And then a little higher. And you're gonna press, you're gonna lift, you're gonna balance it, you're gonna hold it. Hold, hold, hold. And then begin to slowly transfer it towards the back for balancing half moon, hip stack, shoulder stack. That hand's wrapped around your back if you choose the bound position. If you fall over, it's okay. Try to transfer those hands to just three fingers if you can. Last thing that goes up is your gaze, obviously. Hip stack, shoulder stack, reach it. And if you choose to take that hand off the mat, hug at your shoulder, woo! You can, it's finding different ways to play around, to challenge yourself out of your comfort zone. Woo! This side is like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> and then wherever you are, you need to hit that focal point, that distry. Keep your hip stack, shoulder stack, gaze up, and then slowly bring your hands down, center yourself, walk yourself out. Three-legged dog, situate yourself, and then pull your knees in, chin, chest, 
and then kick it up, pull it in, kick it up, pull it in, kick it up, and then out wide. And two more out wide, one more out wide. Then kick it up, crisscross, opposite, drop it, kick it up, crisscross, opposite, drop it, kick it up, and then crisscross, kick it up, and then bring it out, chaturanga, upward, facing dog. Push up, down dog. Take a breath, honor where you are. Then lift in your heels, gaze between your hands, squat into your thighs, take a big step or hop to the top. Big inhale, lift, find your chair. Lift, find your fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back. Downward, facing dog. Bring it out to plank, chaturanga, upward, facing dog. Push up, downward, facing dog. Take the right leg, kick it up, stack your hips, lift in that knee. You're gonna bring it through, stay low. Hands on the inside. Walk that foot to the knife edge, nice and low, hold it. You're gonna take that back leg, you're gonna step it up, you're gonna kick it through. Kick it through, kick it through. Then bring it back, nice and deep. Step it back, plank pose. Step it up, lunge it deep. Take that back leg, kick it up. Then step it back, hands down. Step it back, plank. Step it up wide, back leg pulls through and lifts up. Then step it back, hands down. Step it back, step it up. Pull it through, lift it up, step it back. Plank pose, step it up, last one. Pull it through, lift it up. You can take it to hook, yogi toe hold if you choose. Lift that leg up, hold it, reach, 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 reach. Then bring it back through, kick it through, hold right here. This foot is off to the side. Opposite hand on the other side, rotate open, hold. Stay nice and deep. Hold, hold, hold in it. Then take that top leg, lift the heel. And then take that leg, step it back, side plank. Fully extended or kneeling. Take your hand back to your head and rotate, crunch it down. And then open up. And then crunch it down. You're kneeling or extended. Crunch it, open it, crunch it, open it. Crunch it down, open up one more, crunch it down. Open up, hold it, bring it center, chaturanga, upward, facing dog. Push up, down dog. Left leg kick, back your hip. Lift that knee high, let that foot dangle behind you, really open up in that space. And then bring that leg through, out to the side of your mat. Both hands are down, really press in, deep and down. And then take that back leg, step it up, kick it up, hold it, then bring it right back through. Step back, plank to the top, pull it through, kick it up, and then step it back, plank, hand down, plank, step, kick it through, then pull it back, plank pose, then step it forward, pull it through, pull it back, Plank pose, step it forward, kick it through, and how about one more? Plank to plank, step to kick through. You can take a yogi toe if you want, kick that leg, whoop, <laughs> a little bit higher. Reach it up, listen to your body, press into that hand, and then bring that leg back through, hands down, walk that foot back to the edge of your mat. Right hand down. Left arm opens high to the sky. We press into it, hold it, then lift the heel, press into that side hand, and then take that top foot, step it back, side plank. Fully extended or kneeling, hands high to the sky. Hand comes behind you, tap that elbow down towards the mat, open up, down towards the mat, open up, down towards the mat, open up. Down to the mat, open up. 
down to the mat. One more, down to the mat. Open up, hold it, then bring it center. Shift your weight forward, chaturanga, upward dog. Woo, hang in there. Push back, downward dog. Check in. Pedal your heels. Lift those heels, squat into your thighs, gaze between your hands, take a big step or hop to the top. Big inhale, lift, find your chair. Hold in your chair. So we're gonna come awkward knock knee pose. So feet a little wider. So you're gonna lift up as if you're in a balancing chair, but you're gonna knock your knees together. Those heels pivot out and you drop down. Sit deep, heels lift. So it feels awkward because you're knock knee. It's a knock knee awkward pose. Balancing heels up. If you need your heels down, you can keep them down. Otherwise, find that place where you can balance, hands to heart. Again, piece of life, seal of life mudra. Reach those arms up. Breathe in, cultivating that mind-body connection, that awareness, that mindfulness, that intention. The body's energized with positivity, charisma, optimism, delight, and joy. Drop another inch down, balance, maybe lift those heels a little higher. If you can, balance, engage in those bondas for stability, there's the internal mudras. Hang in there, breathe in, breathe out. Hands to heart center prayer. Grateful, thankful, blessed. Pull those knees apart, sit a little deeper, lift nice and tall. Step those feet back together, hands to heart. And a big inhale, lift. Exhale, hold down. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward, facing dog. Bring it out to plank, chaturanga, upward, facing dog. Push up, down dog. Let's mid, sit up, start on the left. Keep that left leg up, back in your hip. Knee is high. Bring that leg through for warrior one. Back heel down, lift the torso, reach the arms. Press in, hold it, breathe through it. Honor yourself right where you're at. So check in, 12 o'clock, so big toe on the left leg. Back leg, ankles are in alignment, that's toes turn out, 130. On the big toe on your back, right leg. Torso and hips, rotate forward to the best of your abilities, you lunge deep. It can be a short stance, it can be a deep stance. Most importantly, smile. Don't take things so seriously. Definitely don't take it personally. And how about, we may have expectations of ourselves, but it's never our responsibility to have them of other people. Everyone's doing their best. So if we stay in the space of acceptance, of tolerance, of forgiveness, and understanding, this opens up to compassion and kindness. The random acts of kindness are the best little gifts on this planet. So give yourself some right now. Elongate that back leg, strengthen in that front leg, feel the unity, feel the harmony, and open up warrior two. Center your hips deep and down, expand through that heart center, reach it out. Maybe walk that front foot a little further forward if you need to, to get a little deeper. Front toes never move on that left side, back foot just turns parallel to the back edge of your mat. Arms along, chest expands, deepen in, breathe in, Breathe out, feeling the activation through the body. As you activate it, you're lifting those engagements, squeezing through the cells, the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, the joints, the entire body through the fascia, all of it is active, supporting us, encouraging us, inspiring us. It's that metamorphosis of change to build new strength, new flexibility, new endurance. And it's throughout our entire mind, body, and spirit that it's activated, deepen in. Then arch your pose, lift the front toes. Rotate those back toes to the corner. Deepen into your back leg. Pull your thumbs inward. Pull those arms nice and strong. Deepen into it, hold it. Breathe through it. Own in that little badassness warrior within you. To relinquish and let go of the BS we hold on to. Igniting that bliss within our souls. Breathe in, breathe out.
feet out. And then pivot around to the back, crescent lunge. Nice and deep, sit deep in it, hold and breathe. That back leg is now your left leg, your front leg is now your right leg. And then rotate revolved, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Rotate around, press those palms together. If you need to modify, find your back knee, that is your friend. You can always come onto your knees, you can always find child's pose when needed. Even just watching this practice, you're taking in the energy. And when you physically get into it, you're absolutely gonna receive more out of it. But start where you can, don't give up. And then rotate your hands down to your center. Take that back leg, step it up, standing, split. Forehead towards your knee. Place your hands to your ankles if you can. You can take one hand, you can take both hands. Gaze at your big toe, if you get that leg a little higher, you can gaze through your legs towards the back edge of wherever you are. Make sure your foot doesn't turn, compensate for balance, turn side to side, keep it facing forward. And then slowly step it back. Take that line to deep one, kick that leg high to the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. And then come onto those forearms. Clasp in those hands, pop that foot up a little further forward and you can teeter-totter back and forth and drawing yourself up into a headstand and lift and tap. Keep that leg lifted, it never drops. That right leg never drops. You can balance, you can bring those legs up, you can meet them, you can play around, listen to your body. But what you wanna make sure is that you're not crunching on your head, you're pressing into those forearms, shoulders are stacked, that right leg stays elevated wherever you are, bring it back and down, press into those hands, kick that leg high, and then chaturanga upward, facing dog. Push up, downward, facing dog. Left leg kick, stack your hip. Bring it through and come to a straddle. Move side to side, find that lateral movement, open up in that space, deep and down. Breathe in, breathe out, then hold it. Toes go forward, hands to your ankles, gaze through your legs, tailbone lift. And then release, toes turn out, find your goddess. Pulse into those thighs, lift in your torso. Breathe in, Whew. breathe out. Center yourself, maybe you rock side to side. My pants are so fun. <laughs> all loose and baggy. Boop, boop, my little gypsy pants. So fun and playful. Anyway, keep pulsing, keep moving. Now lift your right heel and pulse into it. The right heel's lifted, just pulse. Arms come out. Press together and apart, together and apart. Right heel's the only one lifted. Press it, press it, and press it. Apart, together, apart, together, so press it. So like, things are going on here. You're pulsing your thighs, that heel is up. Pressing into it, being methodical there. At the same time, those arms are opening and closing. At the same time, you're breathing deep. At the same time, you're trying to have that mental focus and clarity as you focus into the present moment. So a lot goes on. Same as life, a lot goes on. But it's where we choose to put our attention, our focus. If we can choose to put it into our heart center, into our personal space within, clearing the clutter from our mind, the fragmented negative thoughts. We can come to a space no matter where we are, 
We can transcend this physical. We can transcend our emotional. And go into those pathways within that take us into that spiritual essence and union and communion with the divine essence of God. And in this space, oh, there's peace. There's harmony. There's truth. And in this, we awaken to our birth right. And in that, we are designed prosperous and blessed. We are designed to be joyous. That is our gift in life. We give our joy away. We give our power away. What do you choose today? Open up and hold it. Sit a little deeper. Hold, hold, hold. Keep that one heel up. Breathe through it. I got the joy, joy, joy down in my heart. So pivot around to the top. Warrior one. Woo! Deep it in. Press it in. Then sass in that hip. Reach that arm out. Find triangle pose. Hip stack, shoulder stack, gaze is up. Breathe in and breathe out. And then cartwheel his arms, lift up into reverse triangle, back hand comes down, it's down that leg, lift it up, reach it up, gaze is up, and then cartwheel, opposite hand comes down, gaze goes up, revolve, triangle, both legs are straight. If you need to place your hand onto your shin, you can, or onto your thigh, but not onto your knee. Both legs straight as possible, hands down, shoulders back, gaze up. And then bring yourself around. Leap it out for balancing right here. Fear of Androsana three. Warrior three. Ears and elbows side by side. Hold and breathe. Keep those standing toes forward. Elongate. Then slowly pull that knee up. Hold it. And then rotate, revolve. Opposite hand underneath. Rotate your gaze behind you. If you need um, to extend that leg, you can for additional activation. And you can also take a yogi toe hold around your toe and extend. So find that place that works for you. Breathe in, breathe out, smile. And then slowly bring a center, release wherever you are. Reach those arms up, legs straight or knee is bent. Then release it, drop it and shake it and dance it and move it and groove it. <laughs> all right, we got that all on the other side. Hang in there, we're almost there. Hands to heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Big inhale, left. Exhale, fold. Squat, deep gaze, forward, step it back, downward. Facing dog. Bring it out to plank, chaturanga, upward. Facing dog. Push up, down dog. Right leg kick, stack your hip. Lifting that knee, open that space up. Then bring it through for warrior one. Back heel down, lift it up. Deep and inhale, warrior one. Right here is the only moment that counts. So make it the best moments of your life. 12 o'clock, big toes. 11.30, back, big toe. Press it in, send your hips and torso. Press in nice and deep. Oh, I'm glistening. <laughs> Woo! Not just dazzling, I feel bedazzled in my sweat. Deep and down. Lunge in, the best of your ability, your stance can be shorter, it can be bigger, you can make it dynamic, you can make it gentle, it's your practice, listen to what works for you. And just settle into your beingness, the essence of you, and harmony and unity, the totality of who you truly are and the essence with the divine spirit, Feel peace, feel comfort, feel life, giving awareness, enlightenment, and to true joy. And ultimately, when we are in a state of positivity, seeing the good, being happy and content, feeling that joy awakened within us, this ignites the purest essence of our truth, and that is bliss. And in bliss, we feel ecstasy, it's like we're living in utopia, and that is heaven on earth. And when we're in this space, we're better able to give and be of service, better able to show kindness and consideration to others. And in this space together, collectively, we can make a difference. 
Let's go ahead and shift, shift back, lift your front toes, center your hips, back toes turn to the edges of your mat as you lunge into your back left leg. Arch your pose, thumbs on the inside because you are whole, complete, and a powerhouse bed assery warrior right here. Own it, believe it, feel it. Breathe in, breathe out, sit a little deeper, feel that fire igniting. And with all that glorious goodness, let's go ahead and pivot around to the back, crescent, lunge, high on your back, toes, front knee and ankle line up, your front leg is now your left leg, your back leg is now your right leg, sit a little deeper, pull that hip back so you don't crunch down into that hip socket, and then bring your hands to prayer, rotate, revolve, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Breathe, balance, hold. Feel good, feel good. Woo! Feel the internal cleansing as you're breathing, as you're revolving. And then go ahead and bring those hands down. Take that back leg, kick it up. Standing, split. Forehead towards your knee. Get that leg as high as you can. Place your hands to your ankles. It's an option in the standing split. Focusing on balancing. You can bring both hands in, gaze to your big toe. Find that district point, that focal point to help you get deeper into your posture. Feel that leg wobbling, it's shaking, but you're owning it, you're doing it. And then place those hands down, step it back. Kick that leg up left leg is up you drop to those forearms make that little house clasp in those fingers kick that leg high you can forearm balance or come on to your crown and teeter totter back and forth you can just tap the floor and lift that left leg stays up if you can't get all the way up you got to start somewhere keep the foot on the floor leg is up you begin to work your way up balance activating through the powerhouse you can play around once you're up there, working on your stability, on your movement and balance. If you're just holding with the left leg up, right leg on the toe, we press into those shoulders, we activate through. You don't want to crunch onto your head. Or if you're in a forearm balance, fantastic. Keep balancing, keep pressing in. And then wherever you are, meet yourself, press it up into three-legged downward dog, and then bring it out to chaturanga, upward facing dog. Push up, down dog, check in, breathe in, then take your right foot, kick it, stack in your hip, lift in that knee, and then bring that leg through for warrior two. Open up, oh sorry, not warrior two, we're moving right here, we're Chris moving side to side, we didn't get that one in today, we're moving side to side. Side to side, lateral movement. Center, hold it, turn those toes forward. Hands come down, bring it around. Lifting that tailbone high to the sky, pull those arms down and deepen in. Like pull yourself as deep as you can, gaze through your legs, and then toes turn out. Drop your bottom down, lift it up, and shimmy, shimmy, shimmy in those hips. Find a pulse it. Lift your left heel. This time it's all about the left heel. I'm sweaty, sweaty. Woo! Love it, love it. <laughs> now take those arms, expand them out to that heart center. And apart together, apart together, squeeze it, squeeze it, contract and expand, contract and expand. Bring that ebb and that flow, such as the current of life. We're constantly contracting and expanding. We're constantly riding the ebbs and flows of life. So being in a positive mindset, in that frequency of positivity, does that not mean that you put your head in the sand? It doesn't mean you don't own what you're going through. 
what it means is you don't give your power to it. There's a difference. You can be sad, but you don't give your joy away in your sadness. You can feel a little moments of being overwhelmed and anxious, but you don't give your power to it. You don't feel defeated in it. You don't let it overcome you. You acknowledge it, you process it, and you relinquish it because it doesn't serve you to stay in that negative, fragmented energy that can cause turmoil into your body, into your mind, into your spirit. And ultimately, in those spaces, we forget our joy, our light, our fire, it dims, it goes out. And that's not how we're designed to be. Our souls are on fire. They're beautiful, luminescent lights, like the stars that shine bright in the sky, like the sun and the moon. You have that whole creation within you. Stand in your power, in that positivity of love, of joy, and peace. Press in, deepen it. You got eight more, you got seven more, you got six, you got five, four, three, two. Last one, open up, sit deep, hold it, breathe. My leg is shaking. <laughs> And then go ahead and pivot yourself around to warrior one. Back heel down. Press in as you get nice and deep into it. Then center your hips, sass them, and find your those arms, center it out. Triangle pose. Triangle pose to the top of your mat. Hip stack, shoulder stack, gauges up. Here, I believe you're the other direction. Oh, the other way? Yeah, other way. There you go, girl. There you go, snap and a crackle. Yep. Feels good. And then as we're here, everything's present, there's two panes of glass, you're gonna just drop that right hand down, rotate, re oh no, I'm sorry, first we gotta swoop it up, swoop it up into reverse. Let's do this one first. Reverse it, heart open to the sky. Feel good, feel radiant, feel light. Beaming throughout of us. Into our oars and cartwheel those arms all the way down. Bring it up, feeling balanced, renewed, and whole. Feeling that vitality and optimism and cheerfulness. That longevity of renewedness within our optimal wellness of beingness. Yes, because we are in our aliveness. Feeling the joy, joy, joy into our blissfulness. Oh, so good. Feel it, feel it. And then go ahead, bring it center. Leap it out. And we got Vera Bandrasana three right here. Hold it, balance. Ears and elbows side by side. Long spine, legs lift, reaching up position. And then go ahead, pull that knee up. And you can take opposite hand under it. Rotate, revolve, shoulder stack. You can take your hand at your ankle, extend the leg, or yogi toe hold. And then find your balance. Take your gaze back behind you. Make sure that standing leg, toes do not turn to compensate for balance. Rotate the shoulder, take your gaze back. Balance, breathe, hold it. Wherever you are, if you're under a knee, let go. If you're under your toe, let go. Bring yourself back. Center, drop it down, and shake it out. Dance it out, dance it out. Woo, woo. It's a party right here, going on. Feel those songs. It's those mantras you play internally in your head. It's a choice. We're playing only the good things going on right now. I'm so happy. That's a song I play a lot in my head. <laughs> All right, hands to heart. Let's go ahead and bring it down to our mat. You did amazing. Lift those arms high to the sky. Exhale, heart towards your toes. Shake your head. And then squat deep. Extend those legs. Staff pose. Sit tall, rock side to side, shake those legs, lift up, take a big inhale, exhale, hinge it over. And then deepen as you press your tailbone back, pull your chest forward, then deepen down. Hold, 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 and breathe. and then lift it up. Lift it up, take a leg, take this leg and pull it back behind you. Just pull it, pull it, take it that foot. You're gonna make it, maybe hold it like this and hold it. 
You want to cradle that baby foot into your forearm, knee into your forearm, then pull it in, hold it nice and tight, pull it in. We're going to reverse our pigeon. So this is our reverse pigeon. So it's modified as we are seated. We can hug ourselves, love, love, love. Give a little TLC, I love you. Look at you, you're such a good girl. Oh, thank you for carrying me through my practice and day to day. See, it's the mantra is the self-talk, positive affirmation. Grateful for our strong, healthy bodies and minds. Let's lay down only if your foot stays in your forearm and your knee stays in your forearm. If you cannot hold here and you're out here like this, do not lay down. Only if you master this can you lay all the way down. Then once you're here, lay down and hold it. Really pull it in. So remember we did our standing split. So you can choose to stay where you are or you can extend that leg out into that standing split motion. You can take a yogi toe hold. You can hold under your knee or at your ankle. Press that left hand into your hip, pull it out, then pull it center and pull it down and hold it. So if you were in a pigeon, in the reverse sitting down, you would be in a split. Then go ahead, wherever you are, pull yourself up seated. We're gonna finish off on this side. So a little arm balance if you choose. So you're gonna pull it back. So maybe make some more big circles if you can. Get that hip open and then really press it back. You can extend holding that foot and extend in that leg if you choose. There's several options I'm gonna show you here. You can reach this arm up and over, clasp with that toe, gaze through your armpit. You can come here to the arm balance, placing your leg calf up onto your shoulder. You can clasp at your toes, hands come down, hinge yourself, lift your booty and extend out. And then come back. So just play, clasp those feet, lift it up, extend, hinge it over those thighs, sit on top of that forearm that right leg does and then bring it back. And you can just play around. And then we got that on the other side. Right leg extends, left leg's up. So just hold it. Push it back, grab that foot, push it back, and then place that foot into your forearm, knee into your forearm. If you can't get all the way here and you're just holding like this, fantastic. This is your modified pigeon. Here, if you can hold into this space, tugging your beautiful leg in. Hug her, love her, him, her, whatever it is, pull it in. Love on her, and then if you're holding the integrity right here, you can lay down. If you don't have it all the way in to stay seated, lean back a little bit, get the most out of it that you can. We wanna say stay, still stay safe in our practice. Always, always, always. And then if you choose, if you're here and you wanna take a little deeper expression, you can straighten this leg up. So you can take your hand at your knee and pull it in. You can take your right hand at your hip to keep it down. Take your hand to your ankle or yogi toe hold. You can pull it out to the side for a minute and open it up and then pull it back center, pull it down. Find what works for you. Keep this right leg down, the hip down. And then wherever you are, pull yourself up seated. And our final move as we lift up, make some more circles here. Option one, you lift that leg, hold that foot and reach opposite arm up and over and gaze it up through that armpit. Just an option. You can also, as an option, place this foot into an arm balance. Up, short forearm, goes underneath that shoulder and that calf kiss. Hands come down, feet clasp. You shift your weight, lift your booty, and extend your legs and hinge over to the side. And balance, hold, and breathe. Listen to your body, find what works for you and then bring yourself back seated, and then have a seat, and you can play around with that. All right, let's sit tall into our lotus pose. You can sit crisscross, you can half lotus it, or you can full lotus it. Be mindful, you don't hurt yourself. We want long, erect spines, lungs filled with dynamic breathing. Hands come down, you're just gonna take opposite hand to opposite, Knee, rotate around, gaze behind you. And then come other side, rotate around, gaze behind you. And then bring it center, palms up. And our palms are up, again, our last opportunity to engage in the seal life mudra, activating the positivity 
within as we beam with appreciation and gratitude. Palms up, receive the abundant blessings, the endless possibilities that are offered to us when we have a clear mind, a clear vision, an open heart to see the doorways of endless potentiality that is offered to us when we have a positive mindset to see more clearly. Hearts open to want to witness the goodness and experience all the good that is offered to us. And even when we walk through adverse times, and Lord knows we're walking through some challenging times these days, is of our utmost importance to ourselves and one another, and as a global part of this global family, to stay in our power, and that power is being joyful, being truthful in our essence, owning our authenticity and not being afraid no fear only love love is in this space love comfort comforts us and encompasses us it is the divine essence of who we truly are as you feel the breath deepening and slowing down bringing the hands to heart with humbleness, graciousness, and gratitude. We lift our arms up to the heavens for a big inhale, one for the mind, exhale. Big inhale for the body. And a big inhale for the spirit. Namaste. Love and light to you all. Have a blessed day.